Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready for Pilates. I'm tired as fuck for some reason. I don't know, recently I've just been so sleepy. Yesterday was my birthday. I didn't vlog because it just was like a really, really chill day and I just wanted to kind of be in the moment and not be like, oh my God, I need to get, you know, a clip for the vlog. I did vlog on TikTok though because it's way easier to just pull out your camera when you're doing something like on your phone. It was just a really chill day because we went out the Saturday before for my birthday with our friends and some family. We had a really nice dinner, we dressed up, and then we went out after. So yesterday just was really relaxed. I got a massage, I went to lunch with Parker and my sister and her boyfriend. We went and got smoothies with the boys, Parker made lasagna, and then the camera shifted, sorry, Parker made lasagna, then we just had cake and sung happy birthday, played some more games, and went to bed. But anyways, I'm getting ready for Pilates, Parker's coming with me today, so that's gonna be interesting to see how he does with that. <laughs> We've gone to like yoga and stuff together and he's definitely an athletic person obviously he goes to the gym a lot but he's like a gym person so you know at the gym like you do weights and then you stop and chill for a second pilates and yoga aren't really like that well the pilates and yoga that i do it's from the minute that you start you are going until the minute that you stop look at this cute card that parker got me for my birthday it has like feathers I'll give you a brief. That's it. <laughs> Parker's way better at words than I am because on birthday cards, I'm like, happy birthday, love you. And on birthday cards, he like writes a whole love letter. I love, obviously, but I'm not like that. I wish I was. I wish I was like a person that could get my words right, but I'm not. He's been so busy all morning, but I'm about to tell him, leaving in 20. I usually film like these get ready with me for Pilates on TikTok. But I just cannot get out of bed this morning, so I'm not going to have time to do that. And he said he might have to miss, because something came up. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys all for the birthday wishes. I definitely felt the love. So many people have the same birthday as me. Like, on my birthday posts, they're like, oh my god, it's my birthday. Even, like, one of the girls that I know, like... I mean, I guess I can consider her a friend. She's like a friend of my friend. We've gone out a few times. We have the same birthday. Parker's dad and I also have the same birthday, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> Bro, not my sister just canceling on me too within like two minutes of each other. Okay, I guess. It's okay, I've gone alone before. And plus, this bitch is saying she doesn't want to go because she's about to start her period. I literally fucking suffered through the day after I started my period and went with her. It was the hardest class of my life, but I still went. Should I guilt her right now? Give me a hug. <laughs> Good luck today. Crystal canceled on me too, you guys suck. Oh no, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> he had a meeting this morning, and that's why he has business on top, gym shorts on the bottom, and then nugs. <laughs> this isn't my straw, but I think Parker took my straw, so I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> That actually wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. Oh, for you. Because <laughs> I struggled. I can't wait for y'all to see the footage. There's nothing there, right? No. I can't wait for y'all to see the footage of me going through it. I didn't realize how shitty my core was. Yeah, it's like a whole core workout the whole time. Good. Sorry. Well, would you come back? Yeah, because I realize now <laughs> that I'm weak. That's what I'm saying about these gym people that have these big muscles and stuff. Like, they work out, but it's like a different type of workout. Totally different. That ex it explains, though, your body is definitely, like, seeing the benefits. Except today I look really bloated. No. Y'all, she says she looks bloated, but she doesn't. Yes, I do. It's all in your head. We're going to go home. Parker has to leave. Immediately. I'm late. For a meeting, and I have to shower, blow out my hair, and then film. I'm starving, so I'm going to make us dumplings really quick, and Parker can just eat them on the way to his meeting in the car. If you're still sleeping on the Trader Joe's chicken soup dumplings, girl, 
It was so good, so easy, so fast. <laughs> some sesame oil on them it's so good like everybody on tiktok is doing they put the chili oil from trader joe's on it parker likes this i do not like it so i put the sriracha chili if you're sleeping on this okay the dumplings yeah but if you're sleeping on this for anything meat soup dumplings like literally anything eggs you need to wake the fuck up this is amazing This doesn't have like a bad taste to it. It's just the texture, I think, for me. One thing about these, they will fucking burn your mouth off. So let them sit. I feel like the way that men just don't have stress in this life is crazy. He's definitely going to be at least like five, ten minutes late to his meeting. And he's just in the shower. I would have already been out the shower. I literally just would have washed my ass and hopped out that bitch. But he's in there like relaxing. <laughs> Okay, probably not relaxing, but he's definitely probably on his phone, looking at something, just chilling, not a care in the world. I get so stressed. I would be literally running out the fucking door right now. I need to charge my camera battery because it just alerted me that it's going to die soon. So while I shower and stuff, I'm going to just charge it. I can't find my leg like, soup spoon, so... No good. You're gonna be so late. Yeah, I know. Why are you gonna take him? Because I'll make a mess. That's what I'm talking about. Men do not care. He's in the shower, I bet you scrub a dub dub in. Mm -hmm. Then he comes down, eats his food. I would have been literally rushing out, eating my food in the car. I just got home from getting Brian. I washed my hair, got myself a blowout, put some makeup on, and now I'm about to film the Skims video. Brian has a friend here from school, so I'm gonna do this really quick. Good morning, it is the next day. I'm headed to take Brian to his second dental procedure. I'm not gonna record him, like I said last time, because you know, a little bit of invasion of privacy, since he's gonna be under anesthesia. But I still wanted to start the vlog because I have a busy day, and if I start it later, it just is gonna not really make sense. You ready? <laughs> okay, we're back home and now I'm kind of rushing because I need to get ready. Parker and I are going to go to this Realtors event. We're not trying to be Realtors, but we want to buy properties this year and like rent them out. And my sister mentioned that she's going to this event, so we decided to go. Brian's passed out downstairs. Had his other appointment last Thursday and he slept until like 4 30 after the appointment the appointment was at like 11 so he got the anesthesia juice stuff at like 11 and then he slept until like 4 4 30. So i told the dentist that and he was like yeah i figured that because during brian's procedure he was like sleeping he was like jumping in the sleep and sleeping and he was saying that usually like kids are talkative still and like really coherent and brian was like out of there so he said that he'd give him less this time but it doesn't seem like it because brian's still very very sleepy my other sister is kind of me to stay with him while we go to this event i told my sister we're gonna be a little bit late she's like i wanted to walk in with y'all and i'm like then you won't be a little bit late so just wait for us then i need to hurry the fuck up because i know it's gonna take long this is picking out what i'm gonna wear i filmed that skin's Valentine's Day collection yesterday. It's so freaking cute. If this goes up before that comes out, I would definitely go into the pieces. The material, I'll show you guys the material. Or you could just see it on my TikTok because I'm going to post that for sure before this vlog goes up. The material snatches you the fuck in. Okay. What time is it? Do I need to do my hair? Yeah, I kind of want to fix it a little bit.
I used my Dior perfume this morning, but if you're sleeping on the Ariana Grande cloud perfume, wake up because it is so freaking good. Erin got me a travel size of the cloud for my birthday. It smells so good. You guys have to go to Ulta and smell it if you've never smelled it before. Babe, can you explain a little bit better what we're going to? We're going to an investor meetup for... Okay, investor. That's the word I was looking for. I said real estate. Yeah, it's a, it's a real estate investment. But we're not here. trying to be realtors, is what I'm it, trying to not say. Not at all. Yeah, we are buying properties. 2023, the year of buying property. Yes. <laughs> My sister, she does manage properties. I do think she also wants to invest in properties, so I think that's why she's going to this. And then she told us, I guess she told Parker about it. And then we saw her a few days ago after my birthday and she said that she was going to this event and we were like, oh, maybe we should go to this event. And so that's why we're going. Mm -hmm. I said, is it only an invite? Because if so, we're going. These type of things aren't my thing. Like I don't talk to people. I'm not like a social person, but he is. I was kind of saying that like, you're like the business person and I'm like the creator and that's just how it is. Cause Bingo. I'm definitely gonna be in this place just feeling awkward. <laughs> I feel out of place in these things. You shouldn't, I mean like, I feel so out of place. It, like, yeah, look, it's, it's, they're not fun experiences in the sense of like, let's go have a drink and talk about fun stuff and, you know, but it is exciting to, to, to do things that, um, can change our lives, right? You know? Here he goes. improve our lives. He should be an, um, one of those. Motivational speakers. Yeah. <laughs> People tell me that often. <laughs> Hello, it has been a few hours. As you can see, whew, we went to the event, we came home, I ate, I immediately changed back into my comfy clothes. I didn't change my shirt because the neck hole on this is so freaking tiny, I couldn't be bothered, I was too hungry. And then I took a nap, as you can see, my hair is hanging by a thread. Hold on, Oliver's having a BF. So yeah. That's that. The nap was amazing. I woke up on a different universe. Anyways, we're about to do laundry and then we ordered pizza for dinner and I'm just gonna lay here and chillax. So I will pick this up again tomorrow. Plus my child is having a whole... Look at him. <laughs> so I guess I have to go handle that because I'm the mom here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You can be a good boy? Yeah. Thank you for this new shirt. Pose. Thank you, thank you for this new shirt. You're welcome. Pose. I just finished class. Definitely easier than when Parker and I went. I don't know what the hell is happening. It was like 90 degrees when Parker and I went. I really enjoy Pilates, but ever since my massage, I've been getting a little paranoid about my back. I don't know if I talked about it on here. I did say that I went and got a massage on my actual birthday. During my massage, that's the first time that I've ever had knots like I had. Like I could actually feel her rubbing them out. I could hear them. It was so freaking crazy. It was like the craziest experience. And the only different thing in my life is Pilates. And it does hurt my back after class just because I have like a crazy arch on my back. Whenever we're told to lay down straight, I'm not able to lay down straight. Like I have a freaking gap in my back on the floor. So it does put a lot of strain on my back and my shoulders and now I'm just like WTF. I don't want to stop Pilates though because I'm trying to stay active. It's not really because I'm trying to get fit or anything. I just want to keep my body active especially because in December and January and even February seasonal depression really does hit me really hard and I've done a really good job. I'm ready at the end of January and it's been very manageable for me and I know it's because I've stayed busy, I've stayed active, but anyways, class was good. I'm gonna go pick up some food for Parker, Oliver, and I. Brian's at school. And then I have some work to do because a bitch has been slacking on my computer. I have not picked up my computer in like two weeks, I think, if I'm being real. Oh my god, I probably have so much shit in there. Y'all, we have an update on fourth grade drama. Brian tell I'm not really drama. Okay, well, fourth grade tea. Brian asked his crush to the dance. Stop, stop. <laughs> and what did she say? Maybe. She said maybe. Why did she have to ask her mom or something? What was her reasoning? I don't know. Or she just said maybe. She just said maybe. She's like, no. That's her right there in the green jacket. When did you ask her? Like, tell me what happened. Like, like just what? Know. Did, like, what did you say? Like, well, 
I, la I asked, you know, there's, there's there's a dance coming up, and then I, yeah. I, I and then I asked her. What'd you say though? Did you say, do you want to go to dance with me? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait till we par tell Parker about this. Because you're gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> Okay, well. And there was these two other people that were doing it with me, and this dude asked um, my crush's friend, and she said maybe too. And then my other friend asked my my crush's friend's friend, and then she said maybe. So. Oh, it's a Valentine's Day dance. Whoa. Frank, where'd this jacket come from? My grandma. Huh? It's not my grandma's. Oh. Ryan asked Adeline to the school dance. What did she say? Maybe. She said maybe? Yeah. All little girls said maybe though. All little girls said maybe? I guess him and his friends went up to the girls together to ask them <laughs> and they all said maybe. Yay. So when's the date? February 9th. Is it your Valentine? Is she going to be your Valentine? Did you ask her to be your Valentine? <laughs> no. Asking her to the dance is kind of asking her to be your Valentine. No, it's not. Kind of. I mean, it's a Valentine's Day dance. Stressed? Yeah, he's so stressed. H Mark, <laughs> H Mart, and get stuff to make cream oh, barbecue yeah, tonight. And Boba, who's gonna buy it? You? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I got my, I got my H Mart cart. Okay, back to her. I did not take the camera in there. Yeah, there's too many people, and my camera doesn't ever fit in my purses. See you. So this Boba place that we go to, it's called. Um, what is it called? Um, Tiger T. Tiger Sugar, it's over here in Carrollton. I know they have other locations, other places, but this is the closest to us. It's the only boba place that I like, and I don't actually like my boba with boba. I like to get the milk tea, but I don't like the little balls that are in there, so I just get the milk tea. It's so good from this place. Your mama's so old, she sat next to Moses and said, Oh, he's calling you old. He ain't talking about me. He's calling you old. I'll see you for you. Tell me. Thanks. died last night as I was taking my bite so I wasn't able to end the vlog and it's about to die again oh my god so this is me ending the vlog thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it see you in my next video